viewers today we are going to detect or enumerate pseudomonas and ecc e coli and coliform from the drinking water sample by using a technique called membrane filtration technique membrane filtration technique is a very common and effective way of detecting microorganisms from the water samples so uh, for this procedure what i need i need this uh, one water filtration assembly i need apparatus apparatus uh, like my unique cylinder uh, forceps and uh, filter membrane 0.45 micrometer membrane filter paper and definitely i need biosafety cabinets and incubator for the final incubation so before starting the procedure i will i'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this uh, pseudomonas and ecc e coli and coliform pseudomonas is basically a ubiquitous bacteria means it found everywhere like in soil environment in waters in fresh waters so uh, pseudomonas basically rarely cause the food poisoning it is not uh, that much contagious in case of uh, consumption because it can rarely cause food poisoning but what it cause it can contaminate the water it can spoil the water it can cause the water uh, to change its color to produce bad smell bad odor and bad taste and ecc e coli and coliform they are present in human and inter uh, animal intestine the presence of coliform in water sample indicate that the water is contaminated by some organic and fecal contamination and it also indicate that your water is contaminated by some deadly uh, pathogenic bacteria which can cause severe food poisoning in case of consumption so let's start our process but before starting was here make sure you are doing everything very hygienically and in a safety condition uh, the filtrate part of your filtration assembly should be disinfected with 70% ipa and uh, your other apparatus like my ink cylinders and the funnel part of the membrane filtration assembly should also be uh, sterilized or autoclaved and forceps should be autoclaved so now i will place the filter membrane filter paper on the filtered uh, on the filter part of the membrane filtration assembly the filter paper This, it, this filter paper has a pore size of 0.45 micrometer. If you ask why we are using this 0.45 micrometer filter paper, because it retains the bacteria from the food sample. It didn't allow the bacteria to pass through it. So now first I will open it. This is already sterilized. Part of it. Now. with the forceps by using the forceps you are taking the filter paper carefully filter paper carefully and you are keeping you are carefully keeping on the filter part Uh, filtered part of the filtration assembly after that after this you need to put uh, the funnel the glass funnel part of this filtration assembly this impact is glass funnel as well so carefully adjust this glass funnel on the filtration assembly like this and for eccc i need to filter 100 ml of water so now i will add ah you can do one you can directly pour the water in the glass funnel you can directly pour the water in the glass funnel or you can use the uh, autoclave magnetic cylinder to my 100 ml of water but but i will directly pour the water in the glass funnel because it is already graduated i need only 100 ml so i will uh, pour water until this line 100 ml careful yes again this is i am doing for ecc now i will start my filtration pump as you can see the water is getting filtered the water is getting filtered yeah so wait until the water is getting completely filtered and same i will do uh, this for 
pseudomonas. For pseudomonas, I will filter 250 ml of water. So, same, uh, I will take forceps which is already auto clear and the forceps I will keep the filter paper on filtration assembly, filtration point and then the glass funnel which is already after clear carefully adjust the glass funnel on the filtration assembly and one more thing this filtration assembly has valve now I close the valve for this assembly this filtration assembly has three points now I will close the valve for this point and I will open the valve for this point the second uh, the midpoint only and now I will add the 250 ml of water it has already graduated until 150 ml first I add 150 ml water and then again I add 100 ml so the total quantity will be 250 ml and this is for pseudomonas until 150 yes now I will turn on another filtration pump you see the water is getting filtered ml more water and the total quantity will be 250 ml for pseudomonas so for pseudomonas you need to filter 250 ml of water now again i am uh, going to turn on this filtration machine and see the water is getting filtered are ready now uh, I will PC PCC and the second one is pseudo bonus now I will remove this filtration assembly and I will keep and I will keep them in bio safety cabinet. Now for pseudomonas I will carefully remove this glass funnel and by using four steps for pseudomonas and equalite uh, and ECCC I already prepared the media for both. And now I will take this uh, forceps and I will remove the filtration assembly carefully. Make sure do not invert the filtration assembly and carefully placed on the battery plate. And also make sure the filtered part of the filtration assembly should be on the upper surface. And no air should be trapped between uh, the media and uh, the membrane filter paper so this one is ready for pseudomonas and this one is for E. coli ECCC so I am going to uh, place my sample in the incubator I 
to check the results after 24 hours. If my water sample is contaminated with Pseudomonas, so it gives me these kinds of colonies, blue green colonies with diffusion and uh, the maximum allowed limit uh, for the Pseudomonas according to GSO standard is 1 CFU per 250 ml and for the ECCC E. coli and coliform it gives me colonies, red colonies for coliforms and blue uh, colonies for E. coli and the maximum allowed limit for E. coli and coliform it should be 0 in 100 ml of water sample it should be not be detected in a water sample if it is detected it means that your water is contaminated with some um, pathogens with some deadly pathogens you shouldn't be consume this water